Hello, my soccer universe. Yes, I also want to summarize quickly the action uh, Europa and Europa Conference League, which is a little bit more recent. However, I saw him less than I did for the Champions League, honestly. So a few highlights. However, we have actually two uh, rounds to cover because, and uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, no big announcements or, you know, observations because I think I can do it while talking about the games. We had the big Arsenal PSV double where uh, Arsenal actually fully dominated PSV. I actually watched that game for most, most of the time and it was actually ridiculous that Arsenal only won by one goal. Uh, which came late. I mean, PSV had some defending in there. I don't know where it's come from because I really think that PSV is a team that can uh, do some attacking. And that's exactly what we saw then uh, on uh, Thursday, my birthday. Thanks for all the wishes, by the way. And thanks for making me seem much younger than I actually am. <laughs> but I will talk about that, that, that as well. Uh, PSV get a 2-0 win against Arsenal. I cannot really say much, but for me this was a very, very surprising result in that group. Zurich also get a win for once. 2-1 over Bode Klimt. Uh, in the next group, uh, we had two 3-3 three, three draws, one that eliminated Dynamo Kiev, and I think Stad Ren uh, had a 3-0 lead at Fenerbahce. Still all to be decided there. Betis get a win at Ludo Goretz, which means that Roma was under a heavy pressure to actually also get uh, some, something. They find the win uh, through two Tammy Abraham goals. Uh, Helsinki getting an equalizer, and especially uh, to my main make it one, but then shortly after Roma make it 2-1, um, heading mere chance in the first half. However, uh, that was a big, a great equalizer for 2-2, scored, and then was take, taken away because I think there was a push in the build-up. Seemed a little bit... Weird, let's put it that way. Union saint julois qualify with a 2-0 over Malmö, whereas Union Berlin completely turned their uh, European season around with a 1-0 win over Braga thanks to penalty. Fully deserved. I mean, if you save a penalty, you, would th you wouldn't think so, but uh, Union completely dominated that game. Fully deserved that win overall. And yeah, uh, are now uh, very much set on moving forward. Uh... United 3-0 over Sheriff with Cristiano back in the fold. And of course, he's scoring, so everyone happy, potentially. They also are still in first place, though, because they win 2-0 at Omonia. Then the crazy group F. Midtjylland take an early lead at Lazio. And both halves were the same with Midtjylland uh, coming a little bit storming. And then it goes Lazio's Lars way, who then can equalize and even find a winner. Big, big win for them. I'm wearing Lazio. They are, they are one of the biggest winners. The only one that supersedes them, but I'm not wearing another Austrian team like Lask, is, of course, Sturm Graz beating Feyenoord 1-0. A game that started out squarely in Feyenoord's favor with uh, Gernot Trauner, former Lask captain. Actually, hit, he, he hitting the crossbar. It's, still, it's amazing that he still hasn't scored a goal for them yet, but I guess he's, uh, he's not as sought after after corner kicks as he was for Lask. He hit the crossbar, would have got the first goal. Um, Feyenoord having some, some good chances. It was some good um, defending by Sturm. But the longer the game went on, especially in the second half, Sturm got the game under, under control and had the chances, most notably Affengober with a free header. Misplaced it, and then in stoppage time they get the win. And what this means is that the two teams that have the worst goal differential are now in control of their own destiny because both of them only need a draw more moving way forward. They don't play against, against each other, Lazio. Have to go to Rotterdam, Sturm have to go to Midtjylland, which makes it even more interesting because a loss for both of them will mean that they are out because of goal difference. So it is a really, really interesting uh, dynamic in, the, in, in this group. Uh, a draw would be enough for either one of them. Freiburg secure all the spot, only 1-1 against Olympiakos, but not a big win, 2-1 over Karabakh. And then um, another group that is very much open, Ferenc Varsh, I think, is already through with a 1-1 against Monaco and then Javenes Vestar with a 2-1 over Trabzonspor. Just keep their hopes alive. So with all that, let's walk through the standings. It's between Arsenal and PSV, it is about first place, and first place only with Arsenal holding a two-point advantage. Probably this is something they will get. I cannot see it any other way uh, there. Uh, the group Fenerbahce, Ren, both of them are through, but Ren probably could have won that group. Uh, Lanaka and Dinamo Kiev, no, Dinamo completely out of any European uh, business. Roma, 
need to win at home against Ludogorets, uh, otherwise they're out. A draw is not enough, but again, being at home, they should get the bait is already through, as is Union Saint and Saint Gerard will it be two Unions. The two play each other. Union, um, I think they need a win to make sure of it, because I think the head to head against Praga, they will, well, would, I think they will not not win it. I'm not sure now, but that could be an interesting one there. Uh, we have Malmö out, of course. Then, uh, let's go further. Favorites. Arsenal, still very much the favorites, but you see there are a few teams creeping in, like a Barcelona, an Ajax, a Sevilla, a Juve, an Atletico. All of them, I think, are below Arsenal at this point. I think Arsenal square are, should really be considered the favorites. If they don't, Rasada, Freiburg, Betis might go in there. I think even United probably have a decent shot uh, there. And yes, the Champions League teams will cause a little bit of trouble. Uh, let's look with F after all there. I mean, it's the upcoming games. Feyenoord, Lazio. I mean, and mid mid and Schrum, they are absolute great games. Um, and then I think um, Monaco, Gervena, Svesta has something riding on it. Yes. Monaco, Cervena, Svesta, and even the Trabzonspor game, they have stuff riding on them because it's such a tight group there. Um, Arsenal need just a win against Zurich and to make sure that they're through. Uh, they would lose the head-to-head -head against PSV, though. Uh, the other group is uh, only for first place between Team Dynamo and Rennes. They said Roma need to win, and then it's really between Braga and Union Berlin. Those are the upcoming fixtures. Over in the Conference League, Fiorentina qualify with a 2-1 over Bajakshi. Don't have the head to head to because Bajakshi beat them. So the 2-1 win for Hearts was, um, did not mean much. Uh, West Ham is also through with Anderling only 2-2 against uh, Stauer. Austria Vienna out with a 1-1. Villarreal only 2-2 against Hapel Piageva, but they were already ready through. Nice, big win over Parkwards and Köln. Kern's game had to be abandoned again, but this time it was the fog. They get also win to keep their hopes very much alive. So uh, that group is also relatively open still. Uh, Zed, I think, qualify and uh, Dnipro both qualify with wins. Uh, Dior Gardens continue their good run. Um, uh, Slavia keep the hopes alive with a win at Balkany, where Sivaspor beat Cluj. So that group is also hanging very much in the balance, as does Group H, which is also a very weird group. So let's, so let's look at the standings uh, in the in the Conference League. Uh, as I said, it's actually Fiorentina through, which actually owning the head to head over Fiorentina. West Ham Silkeborg. Um, it's between Silkeborg and Ander, uh, Anderlecht, um, with Silkeborg holding the advantage there as well. We'll see in the upcoming games how, how it will go. Between Lech Posen and uh, Hapoel is also um, the, the, the question. And then uh, the next group, it's Slovatsko is out. However, Nice, Partizan and Köln all are fighting for a spot. Köln having a home game against Nice with could be an advantage, but you know, uh, they need the win for sure there. Uh, AZ and Dnipro all through with AZ holding advantage for first place. Your Gardens already through. Molde and Ghent are the two that uh, we need to look at. Then a wide open group where Balkan is out, but Sivasburg, Cluj and Slavia all fighting for uh, top spots. Slavia a little bit on the outside looking in. And then the last group very much open. Everyone can still qualify uh, for the uh, knockout stages. Slovan and Basel, probably the teams that you would expect there, but it's not a done deal yet. Let's look at the upcoming uh, games, but before that, favorites, of course, Villarreal and West Ham. Makes kind of sense. Those are the two strongest teams uh, remaining in the competition. Fiorentina will have to play against the Euro Europa League team, uh, so that is not in their favor. But from the Europa League, there are not that big names coming in so far. It's Bode, Braga, Nantes, Sheriff, Trabzonspor, Larnaca. It seems like, you know, uh, it's really the uh, Villarreal and West Ham that should squarely look at uh, who will move on. Upcoming games, um, Silkeborg and Anderlecht have a shootout. Anderlecht will need the win. Hapoel, Besheva and Lech Posen uh, will fight for the second spot. Kern against Nice, I think that's a pretty big one uh, to, um, for the first place. And then uh, the other one, I mean, Slavia, Sivasburg, Cluj, Balkany. Uh, really, really big matches at Zet and Dnipro for first place. And then Basel and Slovan have away games to secure their spot in the next round. So yeah, that was it from me for uh, these two, as I said, shorter than usual, but I think that's fine for now. Please 
add anything you want uh, in the comments below because I have not seen much, so it would, it would be very much appreciated. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.